Hey everyone, welcome to the Sweet Pea and Chickadee YouTube channel. I'm Kimberly. Today is December 30th, 2023, coming to you from Haymarket, Virginia, here in the US. And this is episode 39. You can find us on Instagram at Sweet Pea and Chickadee, and you can find me on Ravelry at KRMini, just my first initial last name. Uh, this is a crafty channel where we mainly talk about knitting crochet. I say we because my daughter sometimes hosts this with me, but she's now 18, guys. She's 18, a senior in high school. She's busy bee. She's got a job and oh, she's just so she'll be here when she's available. <laughs> but sometimes we're together. She crochets. I knit. I also crochet a little bit. But yeah, we're just a crafty channel. So thanks for hanging out with me today. So it's been a minute. Um, it's been a while. I said I was going to come right back in two weeks and like, I think it's what been five months later. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a little ridiculous, but I, I told you guys I was substitute teaching, um, this year and actually I took a long-term sub assignment and it's just like with first graders who are adorable, but it's now I'm just like back to full-time job and it's just, I'm exhausted and I'm busy, but it's fun. But so here we are. That's why I haven't recorded it. So I was trying to make this short. I'm like, I'll just put in a couple of last minute, like immediate knitting stuff. So it's not too long. Well, it's, I'm, I'm still doing that. I'm putting in recent stuff and it's going to be a long one guys. So grab yeah. your drinks. I have my new cup. <laughs> my mom got me for Christmas. Thanks mom. Uh, grab your drinks. Cause it's going to be a long one. Okay. First I like when I left you guys, I was going to a crank in back in September which for, cause I have a sock machine. It was, I'm not gonna go into too much details because this will be like a 10 hour episode if I tell you everything I've done. It was so much fun. I loved it. I wanna do the next crank in. It was just, oh, I learned so much, made some new friends. It was, it was amazing. So if you have a sock machine and you're able to go to a crank in, please do it. I knew nobody. It was so, and it was really nice. Like everyone was really nice. So it was fun. Um, let me see. I'm gonna go right into finished objects and these are not all of them because I have a ton of crank socks and I have a couple other socks I didn't bring down but the ones I did remember I'm going to show you guys which is not that much so let's see I finished my earth shorty socks so this is with an earth sock set which has a very long fade um, and if you kind of remember I think I showed you guys last time I know I showed you guys my mom's I was making my mom's out of the first half of the color socks um, and I don't know if I showed them to you finished, but I already gave them to her. <laughs> so these are mine. These are mine for the second half of the colors. Um, you're able, it's a hundred grams split into 50 and it's one long, so you can get like one long fade two basically. Well, I don't wear two like long socks. So I figured, Hey, my mom has slightly smaller feet than me. Um, I could, I can get two shorty pairs out. And I did like, I got all the way down to the end. I don't even, I don't, I didn't even bring what I had. I had like this much left. It was like, I got all of it done. And I made my mom's like a little bit longer in the leg because she likes hers a little bit longer, but mine are perfect. And I love them. Okay. And then, oh, <laughs> I haven't done this in a while, guys. Okay. This is my basic <laughs> shorty sock. Oh dear. Okay. So I do a 64. I use nine inch circulars. This is a, this is actually a fish lips kiss heel, guys. So I didn't want to have to do a cut in heel, which I normally do with stripes to make the cool bullseye effect. But I was like, I'm just going to do Fish Lips Kiss because it's, it's, it's my go-to. I have it memorized super fast for me. And look, it did a cool stripey thing. So it worked out really well. Um, I did like a normal rib, two by two. It's nothing fancy. But there you are. <laughs> there you go. I told you the details. Okay. So these you may remember. I cast these on last year. Like literally, <laughs> like a year ago in November and I think I finished them in November so and I've been wearing them so they might be look a little but I these are the world simplest mittens by tin can knits um using my Woolens and Nosh 2021 advent leftovers so she's got a full um, self-striping advent one stripe a day I, I think I saw her do this um after 2021 and I was like I'm gonna do that so I ordered because the, the in-between color, in-between the stripes, is a stripe of a cream. And so I ordered a 50-gram skein out of her base. Um, and then I made mittens. And I had I even had a couple stripes left over. Like, a couple of these left. Um, so, yeah. And I did it on the thumb. They're pretty matching. They're, like, really spot on. And I, I didn't even have to try, honestly. But, yeah, I really liked it. 
these are really, I wear them all the time substitute teaching because first graders, we get a couple short recesses. Well, one longer one, one shorter one. So it's free easy. And we go out no matter what, because they need to run around those, those kids. But I wear these outside. They're so warm. So yeah, it's about a DK weight. So they the DK weight numbers on the pattern. And I love them. I think I made this longer or is it the exact number? I think it might be the exact number that it calls for. But yeah, I really like them. And I have, so this was the first year, my first Advent socks from Wool and Zanosh. 2021 was our first year doing it, I believe. And I've gotten it every year since. So I still have leftovers from last year. And then when I finish this year, so I'll have those leftovers. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Do I need another pair of mitts? Maybe. <laughs> Someone else can have a pair of mitts. Might make a hat. I see people making hats and stuff with them. So yeah, I used up all, almost all leftovers and I got two projects out of it, which is really great. And then I made another, um, oh my gosh, on the sea train. <laughs> I made another on the sea train hats by, oh my gosh, is it Pearl Soho? I think so. If not, I'll put it down here. Um, but yeah, so this is using the same um, Drops Air Mix. I had left over from a sweater again. I made this my second one. I made another one last summer. It was like a lighter blue. This is a great navy. It's got the hairy, kind of like the hair feature on this navy it's yarn. Like it comes like that. I've seen a couple different like navy come like that. I don't know why, but um, on different brands. But yeah, I love this hat. I would put it on, but I've got like a, <laughs> but it's great. Love it. Soft, Qu super quick knit. It's just like a one by one rib, I think. Yes, one by one. It's been a while since I finished it. One by one rib. I love the fit. You can even, it's long enough to slouch and then you can also fold it up, which I think is great. And it's super soft and squishy. So this is number two for me. I really like this one. Then there was Rhinebeck. So guys, I went to Rhinebeck. I think I might've told you guys. It was kind of a last minute thing. I actually don't think I told you because it was very last minute. And it's kind of like, let's just do this. I really wanted to go. Um, and we went to <laughs> the Woolen Folk. I don't even know what to call it. Debauchery. I don't, I don't even, I don't even know. I mean, I felt so bad for those vendors. The vendors were amazing. Um, I just couldn't get to most of them. <laughs> I even had, we even like the night before, like, you know, you go map out exactly who you want to go see. And I didn't even see like quite a few of those people. And I'm tall. I was trying to look over the crowd of people. And I still could, I couldn't see people that were right in front of me. And everyone's like, they were right in front of you. I'm like, I did not see them. Like, and I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm tall and kind of like, you know, I'm not like super thin. So like, I, and I had your bag on you and I just, I was felt it was too crowded. So I couldn't, and I can't shop when I'm that crowded. I just can't. Cause I feel like I'm in the way I'm bumping people. I, I, I just don't like that. So I like, it was just, it was, I felt so bad for them. Anyways, you guys have all heard about this. Anyways, I did some shopping after that. So I didn't really buy anything there. Um, I hardly bought anything at Rhinebeck. And I, I planned on spending most of my money at Wollenfolk, quite frankly, because there were so many vendors I wanted to see. So I came home and ordered and spent money online. So don't worry about that. But I finished a sweater that I actually didn't wear because it rained <laughs> the entire, it was like a humid rain. And so it was like, it was just hot. It was hot. So I didn't end up wearing this, but I literally, and I look, I didn't even weave in the ends. Well, the ends are woven in. It's just not blocked. I steamed it for the trip in case I was going to wear it. But I didn't have to wear it. So I'm going to actually wet block it. But look, oh my gosh. Look at this, guys. Eee. I love it. It looks so good on camera. This is the Gold Wing by Jennifer Steingast. And it's just so pretty. Oh my gosh. So I bought this yarn just for the sweater. And I did the version that had, so there's a version where you can have the rolled collar to match the rolled cuffs I really wanted the rolled cuffs with the color work but I didn't want the rolled top so I just did like a two by two and I looked at other people's projects to make sure that that didn't look weird having two different kinds of like finishing or whatever but people in the um in the project pages also did it and it looked great so I followed their lead that's bothering me okay it's so nice and thick and squishy I'm gonna wear it this winter which is now <laughs> but yeah I've seen a wet block it so that these all fold out nice and so this it'll be like a little bit kind of you know boxier it's so nice i love so much so this yarn is big little yarn co right yes big little yarn co in worsted and oh i think this is oh my goodness i did not bring those down did i 
This is peanut butter and jelly. And this is, it's on my project page. I'm linking it down below. But I love this. I alternated skeins and got this kind of effect, which I think is great. Um, and I'm really glad that the, the, the um, sleeves mostly matched because, you know, it's a smaller circumference. I was worried about how it wasn't going to match this part, but actually did. This one's a little bit darker in this goldy color than this sleeve, but it's the same kind of effect, which I really like. But when I, it was kind of a hot mess in the beginning because I did this and I did about this far in and I was like, this doesn't even look like a pattern. <laughs> like it doesn't even look like I'm doing color work. It looks like I'm just like splotching some yarn in there. And I'm like, why am I doing all this work for the color work pattern part? If it can't even tell this a design. <laughs> and then once I got to here, I like tried it on and put it in the, and looked in the mirror. And I was like, oh, because like, it's harder to see in person sometimes while you're doing it. And then I looked it in the mirror and I was like, okay, I can definitely see the pattern. I'm like, Phew. I didn't just do all that work for nothing. So I'm like, I could just, you know, fade it in if that was the case and that would have been easier. But so I love it so much. I think it looks really good with my hair color too. Yay. Because I usually don't pick colors that look good with my hair. I like, I like bright colors and colorful things that don't necessarily look good with a redhead, but this one look good. I love it. Okay. And I love, I did, did stuff on the sleeves. Looks so good. And I barely, I had just enough yarn. I think I actually ended up having, cause I had like a skein less than the pattern called for. And I think I had, like I finished it with a little bit of this yarn left. So I think I did pretty good. And that like just a very little bit of this. So yeah, I love it. I seen a white block it now very gently. So it doesn't become humongous. And then my uh, last finished object, I did the juniper cowl, which is crochet. And this is off of something I bought at Rhinebeck, but it was at the yarn store in Rhinebeck or Saugerties um, that everyone goes to. Because they had Emma's yarn there, like doing a trunk show. And so she had this really cute Halloween kind of um, mini skein set. It's called it's called a boo thing, <laughs> boo thing mini set. And that's really cute. I was like, I'm gonna make a juniper cowl. So I've always wanted to make it. I'm like, I'm gonna make a Halloween version, juniper cowl. So I think the only thing I did differently on a juniper cowl to crochet is that I cast on with a smaller hook and then went to the bigger hook because my cap, my like top was getting too, was too big. And I want it to be kind of like, I like my stuff a little close to my neck to keep me warm, but yes. It's so pretty. I have not blocked this either. I am, this is why it's when you're busy, you don't block things yet. That means I haven't worn it either because I haven't blocked it. So yeah, it's so pretty. It's a great fade too. It's really good. So I made that and I think that's it for finished. I'm looking around. Is it at least all that I brought down for finished? Okay. So let's just go right into, cause I'm gonna tell you all about my life and well, some things, <laughs> cause there's too much to tell. I'll do that in a little bit, but let's get into whips, but non advent whips. Cause I'm gonna talk about advent whips with my advents. And really I only have a couple whips cause I have more advents than whips. Let me see here. I'm gonna start with this. I really haven't done much on it. I've got two things in here. <laughs> One started and yarn wait to be started. It's by Daisy Girl. I got this a year or two ago. I love it. Um, okay. So I couldn't decide. I went home for Thanksgiving to Washington State and I wanted to bring, I wanted to cast on a Christmas hat, like a beanie type hat, but I couldn't decide which I wanted to cast on. I had this yarn from Bubble Bumble A. Bumblebee Acres Fiber Farm. <laughs> dear, dear, dear. And it's Red Barn in Winter in the Squishy DK. And I think I got this at Rhinebeck a couple years ago, actually. So I had this great skein of yarn. And I was decide I was like, well, okay, it's a DK, but it's also a 7525. So I could make DK weight socks. And you know how hard it is to find DK weight yarn good for socks. It has an nylon in it. So I was like, well, but I really like it. I think you know, it'll be a great hat. So then I was like, okay, I'm gonna cast on the fourth hat. I wasn't sure also how it would pool. Cause you can just tell how it was wound up that it might pool. So I have the fourth hat, which is a really long, it starts from the crown down. It's a 
Isol Latigue <laughs> design, like from the Muscle Bra. And it starts from the crown down and then has basically covers the head and has a really long brim that you fold or you can slouch, whatever you want. So I started it and it started off great, but I can see how it was starting to pool. So it started off okay. Really great. Because I really like the um the decreases, increases on the fourth hat. Anyways, you can see how it's getting really chunky here. And I was like, mm, I don't think I like that. I don't like that. So my other option was these two. They're 50 grams. Now this is also DK, but not good for socks. This is Stranded Dye Works. Um, these are 250 gram skeins, 100% superwash merino in the gingerbread house and Christmas red. This is a Christmas red gingerbread house. And this is a couple years ago as well from my friend Kate. Thank you, Kate. Um, and here's the, you can kind of see that a little bit. That's a little, I got lots of light in here right now because it's dark. But yeah, so now I have these and this is my other option I was gonna do for the fourth hat. I was gonna do the top of the hat like where it covers kind of the head a little bit in this color. And then I was gonna do the long brim in red. I thought that would be really cool. And also it doesn't really necessarily have to be just um, Christmassy, it'll appear on the camera. It can be kind of Valentine's even though it's got a little bit of green in it. But yeah. So I think I'm gonna frog this, make this a fourth hat, but then also these will be socks. For sure, because I don't care how, if it pools on socks, I don't care, because it's going to be pretty and Christmassy. But on my hat, I just didn't want it. Just for this, I didn't want it. I don't know, sometimes I don't care. This time I did care. <laughs> you know how it is. So that's that. All right, next up, I have my husband's hat, which is the um, Trail Point hat by Spout Knits. I've made one for him before in different colors. So here we go. I, it's a folded brim that I've already connected. I did a different color um, on the inside since you can't see it so I can make my brim bigger because it, it, I stripe it. So it's this stripe, this stripe, which we're almost getting done with. And then we go into the top stripe, which is this lighter, this light color. I initially got this color for the top stripe. I'm like, mm, that's a little too much. I think this lighter gray be great on top which I think is the same lighter gray on his first on his first hat his are more like dark blues and browns um with this on top and then this one is a red and gray gray and then the lighter gray so this is really great it's got a really great design to it it's got like a it kind of squares off on the top um but he loves it loves it and he gets compliments all the time people think it's a Columbia hat at the airport which he just loves that I guess <laughs> it must be cool <laughs> I mean, I like Columbia too, but so he loves it. He wears it. And now this is with ply the arm, which I kind of showed you a little bit. So it's plied. I originally got the kit for the first hat through plied at oh, Indian Tangled last year. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, my prime bags go together. Um, and I made the hat and he loved it. No, it had been two years ago. It had been the first year he went. Um, and had a little kit. So then now they sell, these are like little, little minis I call bobbins. They sell like all their colors, I'm pretty sure, or at least most of them, or a lot of them on bobbins. And so I made my own kit. And each kit takes about two colors per stripe. So you need six bobbins. Um, but yeah. But you really only need one for the top because it's it's shorter. Anyways, I know that from my, the fact that I made the hat last time. But yeah. He's waiting for it. I was gonna get it, give it to him for Christmas, but as you can see, it is not done. <laughs> but she had enough gifts, so it was okay. And this is all in my Fringe Supply Co. bag, which you probably you can't even get anymore because they're out of business, but camouflage. I'm a sucker for camouflage. I can't pass up camouflage. As you're gonna see, I think I have another camouflage bag. Okay, then I have another sock. Now, you guys are gonna be confused by this because you've seen this yarn before in a different whip. <laughs> So this is a Woolberry Fiber Co. And I won this sock set from uh, my friend Danelle at Novel Knits a while ago. And I cast this on last December, as you, if you guys remember, because I was trying to debate like which socks I was gonna use for the Sari Nordlin knit along. It was like an advent kind of knit along type situation. And it was a toe up cable knit, beautiful, 
not okay well lace i would say more lace but toe up and i don't normally do toe ups i'm like oh i'm gonna try this out it'll be great because sorry new orleans patterns are amazing um yeah well i got like through the first rotation and then you know all my other advents kind of <laughs> came into play so then i this year i was like i'm not finishing this like i it i don't do toe up I had to really focus and I, I don't mind having a pattern, but that's just no. So I'm like, what other pattern do I want to make with this? So I decided to make, um, so I want it to be pattern, but not too, too complicated. So I'm making the, which I'm trying to see, Hello Sunshine Socks by Tracy Miller. There's, now this is not even a cable guys. It's not a cable. It looks like one. I love it. It's like a faux cable and it looks beautiful. And then the back is completely ribbed one by one. So it's gonna be a great fitting sock. And I did exactly what they're saying. So they did a little pop of color up top um, with the mini set, which is this color. Try not to blow it out with the colors. Sorry guys. Do you like my Halloween nails? <laughs> so Brooke and I get our nails done, but the last time I went in to get these, they like filed it down to get the, because we use dipping powder um, on our natural nails, and it was just, it, they defiled my nail bed down like too much, and I, it like, kind of burned until I put this stuff on, and then it felt better, but I was like, um, yeah, my nails need a break, so I'm letting them grow off. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, so that's gonna be the heel, and this is the little pop of color, this throughout. I love it. So I'm only on the first sock. And this, honestly, the sock's gonna be sitting here for a minute because I got a lot of other stuff going on, but that's okay because I really like these socks and I love this yarn. And it's still in a Christmas bag. This is a Kimberly pouch by Scrappy Angel. Got the clear front. Okay. That's done. I think, is that all of my, nope. I was gonna show you guys this. I really haven't worked on this that much either, but I haven't showed it in a while and I wanted to. It's my son's sweater. I am making him the crossbill sweater by, I think it's Natalie Pellick. She's a Ukrainian designer. Um, so first of all, I just, I just held this up to him today and it's really long. Like he's tall and I was like, oh, it's really long. So it's bottom up cable, full on cable. So it's bottom up, look how long. The, I just, look, this is the arm, like where it separates. Like I, I make the sleeve separate and attach. I mean, he's long, but dang. So it's gonna be long enough, which he did kind of want it to be a little longer of a sweater. I hope he grows more. <laughs> Cause it's long on him, but it's, I mean, I don't know, man. I'm just afraid it's gonna like in blocking get even longer. I think cables hold up a little bit, but I mean, <laughs> I don't know. He was like, well, what are you gonna do to fix it? If, if I went out, I was like, I mean, take it all out. He's like, no. Um, so I've separated the back and the front. So I'm doing the front. The thing with this is, it's a Ukrainian designer. So it's translated. But it's translated, I'm pretty sure, by a Ukrainian speaker into English. So every time I'm switching from, like once I figure out a set of instructions in the pattern, I, I'm, I'm gone, I'm off. Because it's not that hard, it's great, I love it. Um, however, Every time I get to the end of those instructions and I get to the next set of instructions, it takes me like sometimes a full 24 hours of thinking about it and looking at it again to figure out what they're trying to tell me <laughs> because I just, yeah, but it's a great, it's a great pattern. I love it. It's beautiful. He really wants it. It's going to be a turtleneck. It's going to be, this is like my, just, I mean, come on, turtleneck sweater, long sleeve. Oh my gosh. I'm really worried it's going to be too long. I think I'm going to shorten because he's, I mean, he's quite thin. So I think I'm going to shorten like where it says like from here to here to knit. I'm going to definitely shorten that. So it'll bring it up higher on his arms, which will still be comfortable for him, but that will hopefully help with the length. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I'm using, which I, that's another thing. I only have three balls of yarn left. And I went off of the recommended yardage amount and I'm doing the smallest size <laughs> of the sweater, adult men's or just adult, I guess. Um, I got Swish DK. Oh, it's like blowing out. Sorry guys. Um, I think it's in the nutmeg, nutmeg Heather colorway. Let's write that on the front. 
but yeah, I love it. It's a great squishy yarn. I only have three 50 grams left and I'm not even to the sleeves. So I had to order more, which this, the nutmeg Heather sells out like all the time. Like they're always out. But then whenever like comes out, I'm like, oh, I'll get it later. And then I go to get it and it's gone. I'm like, oh, stop doing that. Can't just order it. <laughs> not that it's not like I'm waiting for the yarn. Though. That's why I'm like not in a super hurry. But yeah, so that's happening. I have that in my, what is this, Twig and Horn, which is like, I don't know if it's necessarily a project bag, but it's got a lot of pockets. And... All right. That's all the whips that I brought down. <laughs> okay. So let's go right in, well, except for my Advent whips. So let's get into Advents. Let's talk about my Advents. I got three full mini skein sets. I only had one probably when I talked to you guys last. I came home from Ryan Beck and Wollenfolk basically like having all of my budget pretty much still available. So I'm like, mm, I'm getting Advents. <laughs> so I got my Hedgehog Fibers Advent. I already had my Ruby and Roses Advent. And then last minute, like in December, I ordered Botanical Yarn because she still had some available. So I just got that the other day and got to open all of them. Um, but I know exactly what I'm going to be knitting with them. I also got Botanical Yarn had a Notions Advent and I was looking at all the brands that she was having in there. I'm like, oh, so all great brands. I'm going to order that. It's amazing. That was actually more expensive than my yarn Advent because it comes with a bag too. And I love it. It was like well worth the money, like well worth it. Um, I also got a Hello Bargello Advent, um, and I'm going to show you that because I'm really excited for that because it actually cost effective. That was great. I got it on sale, like right after um, Thanksgiving, and it comes with five projects, like five small projects, and so I think it was definitely worth the money because I can figure out if I even want to, if I even like doing this kind of craft, and then I can get more because their projects are kind of um, a little more expensive, but they're amazing, of course, so I just want to make sure I like it first. Um... I forgot to show you one. Okay. It's because it's not really much of anything. This is a Red's Lady bag. Christmas. Um, okay, so my niece, I went home for Thanksgiving and my niece Cora saw me knitting socks and she was obsessed. And I thought that was really cute because she's like third grade and she wanted, because I made her a hat like a couple years ago. So she wanted a new hat and she wanted a pair of socks like I was knitting. I was like, oh, I love that so much. So I'm probably gonna crank her socks. I already like figured out, but I'm knitting her hat and she was very specific. She wanted teal, which is a very good color. So I've got this, which is not coming across correctly. It is very teal, very greenish in real life. Um, and this is Uptown DK, Universal Yarn, Uptown DK. It is a um, acrylic blend, it's super soft. It's a soft, it's like my favorite acrylic, so soft. So I was holding it double because I was doing a worsted pattern and I was trying to do a cable, this, um, a cable hat that I cannot remember, but it was like, I'm on fours with worsted and with acrylic, you know, it's not as like squishy. And it was just like, I was doing a two by two and it's, it's too hard. Like it, it was hurting my hands. So I hadn't, it hadn't gotten very far. I like my little self, like it's sparkly. Anyways, so I decided because today a new hat just got released by Benjamin Matthews. He released a, released, <laughs> released the Frost Ridge Bree. Oh my gosh. Frost Ridge Beanie. Isn't that cute? And that's in worsted. So I'll just hold this a double again, but it's on like size six needles. So I know it's like going to work out. Isn't that cool? I really like that. I think she'll like it too. So I'm going to make this for her. And I was gonna send everything home with my mom because she's here for Christmas, but nothing's done. So I'm actually going down there because my mom is moving here with us. She's retired, she's gonna move here with us. Like um, Martin Luther King weekend is when we're going down there to help get her all situated and then get the packers there and the movers there and then we're gonna come here. So when I go there for that trip, I will drop off my the, her uh, Cora socks and her hat. I'm so excited about that. So I need to get going, but now, and if you see this, if I post this before the first, I think it's the first, Benjamin Matthews has it for free with a code. So go check it out if you guys like it. And if you missed it, I, and I didn't post this early enough, sorry guys. <laughs> okay, Advents. First Advent, I'm gonna do my Ruby and Roses, which is in another acquisition. I'm not showing you guys all my acquisitions. I'm not here to tell you I bought nothing. I bought lots of stuff. But here I got my, another um, Janet tote from Scrappy Angel. 
It's another Christmas one with Baby Yoda. And a little see-through pocket. Okay, so I am making with Ruby and Rose's Advent, which I love because it smells so good. It's not hers. <laughs> this is Broca Wool DK in Snow is the main color. But I am making the Sweet Shop blanket. And I actively have a square on or a triangle on right now. Here it is. Okay, so I have it. This is not going to be easy to show because I have it all going all different ways. Here was the first day, day one. So that was triangle one. This is days one, two, no. One, two, three, four. All right there. Because that's your basis. That's where you start on this little section right there. That's your four. And then you go off of that from there. So I have like going this way and then I've got all the way up to here. And I'm, so the first four are kind of in order. And after that, I'm just placing them where I think they would look best next to other colors. And yeah, this is a great, this is a great teal color. And I'm currently doing this one right here. So I think I'm on day 13. Like I just finished 13. This is 13. I have wound up through 16 because when I started winding them was day 16 and I had them all in their little bag still and oh this is from my Christmas present for my son the notions pouch it's from Wonderland Fibers it's a little like cute little I got lots of things in there I still have a tag on it though okay and I just love, I can smell. She's got a great like perfumey kind of, like like perfumey, like soapy kind of great smell to these. So those are really great to knit with them because they smell good. But so I, you, what you do is you hold the fingering weight double to make these. And then I have a DK weight held single for this. Obviously the gauge is different. This is super thick and squishy. And then this is not as thick and squishy, but I don't care, it looks great. And it's totally working out. But yeah. So I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try to incorporate the main skein and I'm going to do the wider and longer of the throws. I think I have enough squares for it because each color does two squares because you're only using half, right? So this is only 10 grams. This is another 10 grams. So I have 20 gram mini, so I can do this square over again later on in the blanket. I'm doing all of them once and then I'll do them all again. But yeah, I really like this. This blanket is super addicting. It's super addicting. I want to just keep adding on another triangle, another square. It's easy, like TV knitting. Like it's all short rows, but like super simple. There's You don't have to keep count. Like you don't have to like count how many stitches you go before you turn. Like it, you just go until you pass the, the stitch. Anyways, I don't want to give away the pattern, but I do want to show you day 25's color, the main skein, because it's so pretty. Oh my goodness, you guys, there's upside down. Isn't that pretty? It's Christmas market, is it? And I think you can order, you can pre-order this on her website. And I was like, do I need a sweater quantity of this? <laughs> do I? I'm like, okay, oh, Kim, you got so many sweater quantities, but it's so pretty. But yeah, Ruby and Roses, love her stuff. Smells so good. So I have all of that in here going. Okay, don't forget that. All right, my next advent I'm gonna talk about, because I think it might be my next cast on, is my Hedgehog Fibers advent, which I have not wound, but it's still in its box. It comes in this cool box right here. And you open it, which I'm gonna open it carefully, so because I have everything, yeah. So they come in these little boxes, they stack on top of each other. And so I just pushed in all the top. I saw someone else do this on Instagram with this advent and I'm like, perfect. I wanna be able to see all the colors. And yeah, I put them back in their box and have them out. So this is the full advent. I'm just trying to make sure you guys can see. Really pretty. Um, it doesn't come with the full skein, it only it just comes with this, that's all it comes with. Um, Ruby and Roses came with like a candle, a main skein, um, that like hand balm stick thing. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is really great. I've got, this is my second year getting this one. Um, I'm going to make with this, the Pelargonium scarf, 
which is a design they made just for this advent. Um, looking at the pictures, it looks like it's supposed to be a fade and you only need 20 mini skeins. So I'm probably gonna obviously reorganize these colors because you can tell how some of them can fade, like these two would fade really nice into each other and then it goes into the pink. So like you can see how it will fade, like these two into this. So I'm really excited about this and I'm waiting till the first because they're having a knit along for this. Um, it's just like a fun knit along with them if you wanna do that. So I'm like, oh, perfect, so I'm, I'm busy. I've been busy. I have not, most of that sweet shop Blanket has been done since after Christmas. I think I had three of those squares done by, by the time Christmas day hit. <laughs> and so most has been done since then and it's so fun that they're doing, but I just had no time. So I was like, oh, perfect. They're starting January 1st. I'm gonna start mine because I really don't have time. And yeah, it's been really pretty, really long pelargonium scarf. Or you don't have to use like hedgehog fibers. To be part of the knit along, I think to earn prizes, if there were prizes, I don't remember, but you have to have hedgehog fibers yarn, but you can use scraps. Um, or you can just live, live along with everybody and have scraps. Looks really pretty. Close, closing carefully, okay. Then my next advent, which I kept in the main giant box because I opened it, I was able to keep the box intact. This is a botanical yarn. They're from, so Hedgehog Fibers is from Ireland, Ruby and Rose is from the US, and Botanical Yarn is from England, or, you know, UK, as they say. So here, I kept those all in there. It was a prismatic fade. Well, it was all it said was prismatic. It didn't say fade, but I saw her last year's advent opened, and it was a fade, so I assumed it would probably be something like a fade, um, but yeah. I really like it, it's really pretty. I'm gonna make the anthology throw by Helen Stewart with this. I think that'd be a really great fade. There are a couple colors I'm gonna switch around on this one. Um, at first I was gonna switch these around because that's more like lemon yellow and this is like neon yellow, but this is like a really light color. So it just looks kind of like abrupt, but I didn't, so then this would be first, but I didn't really want the middle of my anthology throw to be like almost white. <laughs> So I'm like, maybe I'll just have like the pop of color in the middle and then fade it out. I am gonna switch around. Everything looks great until about here. I'm gonna switch these around. So I'm basically moving this over to here and this over there. I'm flipping these two. Cause that looks like it should be lit, right? I think so. I think you guys can see all that. But like, they're not all solids. They have a lot of yellow. So it starts out with this yellow and there's yellow like speckles and like little bits of yellow in some of these throughout, which kind of ties it all in, which is really cool. I think it looked really great in that anthology throw. But yeah, so that's that. I don't know what I'm gonna cast that on. I wanna cast it on like today, but I have a lot of blankets and a lot of, I just love minis. Like they make you go fast. And I heard the anthology throw is a, sorry for all the noise. It's a great knit. So I don't think it'd be that hard to do. So I might cast that on also. Like it might be my kind of New Year's Eve cast on. <laughs> I'm crazy, I know. But you know I'm not afraid of whips. I'm not afraid of having all the whips, which if you guys know, I'm gonna go through my whip roundup um, in January. So my next episode will be the whip roundup episode. And you will see how crazy it is. I think there's less whips than last year because I frogged a lot, but we'll see. <laughs> Okay, so now I have the Hello Bargello advent. It comes like this with, okay, the kit. So I already knew what it was gonna look like. I did that on purpose. Before I bought it, I wanted to see what the little mini projects are. She does a release beforehand of what the mini projects look like. And so you can look if you want to, but you don't have to. Well, since I didn't know if I even liked this craft yet, I think I will, but I don't know. Um, I wanted to see what they were. So I already saw, I already knew what the colors were. So it comes with a kit all the plastic canvas you're gonna need, all the like needles and notions and all that stuff. It comes with your um, book. So you're gonna see it when you open the book to see what kind of um, mini projects are in there. But then this has, which I've, I haven't even opened them all because I'm like, well, I've seen it already, right? I kinda wanna hold them in. I was kinda breaking it, that's why. So it comes like this. And what you get to open are the different colors of yarn that you're gonna use on your canvas for your projects. So you get to open all the different colors. So I started breaking it here and I was like, mm. so I got like down to like day 11. Did I open 12? I did. I went through 12. 
I didn't open this side yet. See, I'm already breaking it. So yeah, I opened this side, haven't opened this side, but I already know the colors. But I really like the project, which I think I can show you. Like one is this great case. I don't know if you can see that. Like eyeglass case. The thing I really liked, a couple things, was this. Um, I don't think that's anything you can't see, but we'll see. It's a little luggage tag. Isn't that pretty? Now, I would use it as a luggage tag because I've had luggage tags ripped off on my suitcases before. Like they come to me and I'm like, it's just like a string. I'm like, what? <laughs> it gets brutal out there on those conveyor belts. So I would use it as like a, like a bag charm kind of thing. I really like this one. And then, oh, it comes, there's also a little tray. Like a tiny little dish tray, which I like for like little stitch markers and stuff. And then, oh, this one's cute. It's a little rainbow wallet. It's a tiny little wallet. They can put like a little bit of money and like cards. I think that's cute. Um, it's got even got, it comes with a snap. I can't show you that picture, but like a little, so it snaps together. And I'll be, I really like these little bangles. I think you can pick which one, which set you want to do. It's going to blow out. Sorry guys. But yeah, so those are the patterns I really liked. What was the other one that I didn't show you guys? The eyeglass case. Oh, that was it. I showed you all. So I really like all of them, basically. Okay, so that one I haven't started yet, obviously. But I'm really excited. Hello, Barbara Taylor. They're on Instagram. And I saw, okay, so that was another reason. I've been like following Hello Bargella for like probably a couple years and I haven't ordered anything and I saw them in person at Rhinebeck. That was so cool. They actually had a booth at Rhinebeck. They had not, I mean, I had never seen them there before and I've gone the last three years, I think. Um, so that was really cool to see them. So I got to see everything up close and personal. So they have a lot of great bigger things that cost more money, like pillow covers and stuff. But I was like, I really want these, but like, what if I don't like it? So I wanted to wait and see if I actually liked doing the craft and then I will buy the bigger projects. Plus I have a bazillion projects to do. So it's not like I was, you know, gonna do it right away. Okay, now uh, let's get into another whip because it's another advent. This is my Woolens and Nosh advent. I got two sock advents this year. Self-striping, one stripe a day for 25 days. <laughs> um, the Woolens and Nosh and Freckled Whimsy. I get those two every year for the last three years. I have yet to knit the freckled whimsy for the last three years. I just keep collecting them. I don't know what's wrong with me, you guys. I don't know. I can't explain it. But Woolens and Nosh, I knit every year. Um, the first year I did this, I was also doing the Desert Visit Dye Works knit along. So I was already knitting that because you have to knit it in the same month. So I, I knit like a December sock. And then I also started my Woolens and Nosh sock. So I couldn't do another freckled whimsy one. So I just hadn't done it. Last year, I almost was like, well, I have you knit Freckles Whimsy last year. I'm not going to order it again this year. And then last minute, I just like, like, I think it was like November. I ordered her like reorder. So I got it like in December. Uh, I was like, well, I'm not going to knit this year either. I had to knit last year's first. So I went ahead and ordered that one. Then <laughs> this year I was like, I got, a, I got a theme going on here. I've got unused Freckle Whimsy advent. So I got three now. So I've got three. I have yet to knit them. I see them, I, I, I like all the spoilers. I'm like, but by the time I knit them, I won't remember anyways. But those ones you see, this is in my Rebecca pouch by Scrappy Angel. It's got two clear pockets. Okay, so Woolens and Nosh is great because it comes already pre-wound, ready to go in its own little bag. I, I'm attached. <laughs> and they're really cute. It's a different bag every year, different logo. It's really cute. Um, and then it comes with minis. So this year's mini was gray. Um, because the in-between color is gray. So here's the first sock I have done. I have, I was caught up by day 16 and that's where I stopped. Cause I was just busy, busy, busy. So I have a really long cuff. I order, so it comes with one mini, but you have an opp opportunity to order an extra mini, which I do. So I can have a, as long of a cuff I want and I don't have to worry about it. So I get two minis. Um, and it always matches the in-between color. So what you do with these, if you don't know, is that you knit the stripe, because you can't see it. It's already wound up for you. Like other self-striping, you, you see it because you wind it yourself or it comes wound and you take it out of the package, you can see it. Well, this one, you don't know. You stop knitting when it come, gets to the gray stripe, like right here, am I at gray? So once I get to here, I would stop knitting for the next day. 
I don't see the next day's color until I start knitting the next day. So it's really cool. It's a, it's a real surprise. I really like it. And it always comes with some goodies. I think this one, this year came with a pattern. The other two years came with like a stitch marker. It always comes with like a, a little bit of candy and what else? I think this year came with stickers. Yeah. So it comes with a little bit of goodies. So yeah, I basically had this one going first. I had to get more needles and then I got this one and started going and then I'm not caught up, but I mean, I'm obviously not finishing, but I've seen other people, the full thing, it's so pretty. So yeah, I really like this year. The in-between color is gray, this is gray. The first year was cream as you saw, and last year was, was like a plum purple. It was really pretty. So yeah. I've marked my heel. I'm gonna do an afterthought. I just wasn't sure, even though I don't know why I did this, because um, I did this after the fact, because I knew the last two years, I went eight stripes that did my heel. And I, I love the fit. So I should have just done eight stripes and then knit a fish lips kiss, but I didn't because I wasn't sure. And then I went back and looked at my other socks after I'd already passed it. I'm like, well, if I've already passed it, I'm gonna do that on this one too. So after five heels, but next year, Kim, next year, remember you can just knit eight stripes and then go right into the heel and then you'll have enough. But yeah, I really like the colors this year. It's a really great like gems, like gem tony kind of color. But yeah, that's right on here. So yeah, I fit all of that in here. It's a great size bag. Okay. <sighs> Need some water, guys. All right. I think that's it. Because I have my Freckled Lindsay as an advent, but it's still in I haven't looked at it. <laughs> it's still in a bag. Um yeah. So I had a total of what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven advents. I mean, two of them were socks. One was a notions. One was Hello Bargello. Three full skein socks. So I told you I spent like my budget from Wool and Folk and running back at advents because I love them. Um, so next let's go into, oh, I can kind of show you my notions one. Okay. This was a botanical yarn notion. So it was like a, a bag. And I noticed that whenever I have an option to get a mystery bag from her, always get it because the bag is always amazing. You can't get it again. And luckily the only thing they had left of the notions was the more expensive bag one. I'm like, perfect. I want that one. It is so pretty. That gold is like a foil gold. It's shimmery. And I th it was supposed to be, this is a notions pouch. This is totally, I can totally fit a sock whip in here. To definitely fit a sock whip, even a hat could fit in here. Like this is a good size. Right now it's holding all of my stuff. This was one of the days. I mean, their days were insane, you guys. Like I'm, if she offers this again next year, if she made money off this, I don't know how. I mean, look, this was day 25. I haven't taken out the plastic yet. Those little tiny mini snips. I mean, come on. And look, this was one, this was one of the days. This was one day, one day. And then one of my favorites, I love them. They're like, they're local to me. Which, where are they? Where are they? Look, this is one day. I got a whole set in one day. So I'm keeping these, like the ones I haven't like started using. Look, this is one. So nice. It's Chowgu um, leather. Well, no, probably not real leather, but you know. And yeah, really great. These are really great items. And then not even included, like just in the box was like these and a pin, which a pin, oh, sorry guys, blowing out. A pin and stitch markers were also in the yarn advent. And I've already seen that she's um, has the pre-orders open for next year and I might do it and get the bag because I love the bags. I might get the bag and next year it's gonna have a pattern that goes with it and it comes with a full skein, which this year's did not. So that's pretty exciting. And where's the stitch markers? Oh, I really like this one, Twin and Pearl like a snail it's sparkly sorry guys my nails are disgusting okay but yeah she made look this was one day i don't know if you can kind of see them all but there's three there look. isn't that cute there's a ton of like a ton of stitch markers a ton so i'm gonna keep some of these on in case i want to like gift them later to somebody so, i mean how many christmas markers do i need a lot because they're really cute but they came in these great like black bags and they all had a wax seal on it like everyone had a wax seal like it was insane what else 
what else in here that I want to show you guys? Where's the main? Oh, this is the stitch markers. And something similar like this came with the um, the yarn as well. A little bit different, but similar. Like, yeah, seriously. Like, there, it was well worth the money, shipping, all that stuff. And not only did I get these snips, did I bring those? So I'm using them on my, my blanket. I got these too. Oh my gosh, they're so nice. I've already scratched them up a little bit. Did I put the thing in here? I don't know where I put them. This is the oh, Thread Maple scissors. The super nice with the leather case scissors. Like, this was day 24, I think. I mean, come on. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't understand. But yeah. Oops. Love these. They're so pretty. Okay. So, but it's holding all of my stuff. Ton of stuff. Every day. Had great, great item. Okay. But I'm totally going to use this as a sock. A cute little sock bag. Okay. So, future plans. If you've already heard, I'm casting on a bunch of Advent stuff. I also am casting on January 1st. Okay, so Desert Vista Dye Works, I did this back in 2021. It's a year of socks. You knit a pair of socks in a month. You start at the beginning and by the end, you know, kind of situation. There's like, there's a limit, there's like rules on how long the leg has to be. It has to be fair for everybody. You can't make a bunch of shorties. Um, you make one pair of socks a month for each month with their yarn. And you get entered into, well not entered, but you get actual rewards. So for the first three months, you do it for the first three months, they give you a discount code to use for like a month or two, I can't remember how long. But then at six months, so by summertime, if you've done it up till then, you get a free skinny yarn and you get to pick whatever skinny yarn you want. And it could be anything, because I did this last, the, that one year. It was a skinny yarn that I've been watching out for because all of her stuff kind of recycles through. You can't always get all of her colors. So I actually had got one that I'd been looking for this whole time and she had not put it out and I asked for it and she gave it to me. So it's like, cool. So you can get anything you want. Um, and then you do another, you do it through the full year to December and you get a free specialty colorway that she only makes for the people who did the knit along. The year I did it, we got this really cool sock blank. It was really cool. Um, and so I've been saving my Desert Versa Dye Works yarn because, you know, after that, you're like, okay, I want to knit other things now, <laughs> like other socks. <laughs> like you just, you do a full year, you're like, okay, I'm done. But I wanted to do it again because it's so awesome. It's so much fun. Um, so I've been saving all my Desert, Desert Versa Dye Works sock yarn because I knew I was going to do it. Well, she just announced like last month that next year is their 10 year, their 10th year Desert Versa Dye Works. I think I did year seven, maybe. But next year is our 10th year and it's their last year. So I'm like, well, I have to do it now because it's the last time. So I've already picked out because I'll have to cast on on January 1st. I mean, you don't have to cast on January 1st, but you know, um, as long as you finish. But I'm going to cast on this sock set. And it's Judith, Judith Grimes. And yeah, I really like that it has like a little mini with it. I like the colors. It's kind of autumnal, but also kind of wintry at the same time. I like it. So I really want to cast this on January 1st for my first of the 10th annual <laughs> Desert Vista Dive Works. I'm really excited to do that for the last time this year. That'll be fun. Like I don't have enough to knit right now, right? Um, I don't know if my iPad is slouching or I'm... <laughs> so if you've slowly seen it go down, I'm sorry, guys. I have a new thing I'm working on with here. I got a new iPad for Christmas, so I want to try it out for... Um, filming anyways also if the if the sound is weird sorry also <laughs> I don't know. my speaker I don't have a hookup for my iPod yet for my speak or my microphone so I'm just using it. anyways you guys don't care okay and then also I mentioned I mentioned this in the last episode that I did not re like release because I recorded it and it was a hot mess and it was just like I was really tired like I was really happy to be here but I was really tired and so I'm like I'm not gonna post that um, but Scrappy Angel, and I think, did I mention this last time? I don't know, but Scrappy Angel has a YouTube channel. Go check her out. She's super cool. She also does them more frequently than I do episodes. <laughs> so go watch her. And we're also doing a craft along. I don't know when exactly it's starting. I might put it down here if I talk to her before then, 
but hopefully I'll just record before then, but we're gonna do a bunt along. So we're gonna, I have bunting that I was making like what, two years ago, last year, I don't even remember, that I have not even, I've done like one triangle for some bunting. And I was using leftover scraps from my advents to make this cool bunting, so I was gonna hang it in my yard room. So she also wants to do it. So she actually has a really cool name for it. I'm gonna ask her, I'm gonna put it right here. It's a really cool name um, for our, our craft along because you can do whatever you want. You can like sew, you can crochet, you can knit. It's gonna be really fun. So more to come on that. Maybe she'll mention more of it <laughs> on her next episode. But there, I got that out there because I kept forgetting, you know, I need to record to tell you guys these things. Um, and yeah, so the next video will be the year in review. Um, I think I talked really fast because I'm looking at my thing. It's only been 55 minutes. So I know I sped talk. Sorry, guys. There was some speed talking in there. Um, hopefully you understood. You know, you can slow on YouTube. You can slow down audio if you need to. <laughs> I should tell you guys that as a warning. Um, oh, I'm not done yet. I haven't shown you guys acquisitions. Okay. It's not everything. Um, obviously, I'm sitting on the floor. You guys can see my legs. But I wanted to show you some things like I got for like the holidays. And, oh, from Rhinebeck. Is that the earliest I'm going to show you? Rhinebeck. A couple of things. I think I got these at Rhinebeck. She was actually at Rhinebeck and Woolen Folk. And I got these at Rhinebeck. Okay, so first I have a cool bookmark. It's from Cottontail Farm. It's a weaving bookmark. Um, but you, it has a template, so you can weave as much as you want. But it comes with a free mini. So you can use, like, scraps and minis. It doesn't come with a free mini. I paid for it. But <laughs> it already comes with one to work with. And it looks really cool. I saw they had like some there like in person, which was really cool. I wanted to do that. And I got another pocket. Love the little hedgehogs. But yeah, so I got those because I already have one pocket. It's my second pocket now. It's really great. I love these things. So you put a skinny yarn in there, you can knit and it snaps. You can hook it to things, hook it to your belt. I put it, I usually just put it over my wrists. I did that at Rhinebeck when we were waiting for everybody to their knit. It's really cool. Um, uh, Scrappy Angel had a little bit of a sale. She had a pop-up and a sale at the same time at our local needle store. So I got a ton of bags. Like I don't have enough, but you know how I um, am a sucker for Scrappy Angel bags. I got two Janet totes, which the first one you already saw, it was this one. And the next one was this one, which I don't, I'm not even a gnome person, but look, I just, I couldn't, I kept looking at it. Like I'm not even a gnome person. Like, I, I mean, gnomes are fine. I just, I'm not like obsessed with gnomes like some people are I just you know they're cute whatever but this bag was so cute it's got a big pocket got the plastic see-through pocket and it's really big inside really and it's got the hook too on the inside so yeah this one's really cute I just oh I don't know what it is and it's coffee it's so cute okay the other bag, I got another Erin bag. With the Erin bags have the faux leather bottom. I have this print in a Lorelei bag and a Janet tote, and now I have it. I have like a whole little luggage set. Love, oh, she's got new um, angels, you guys. They're so cute. Um, and this is the inside. Isn't that pretty? It's got two pockets. It's like got the foam in it. I don't, I know none of the words, Angel. I'm sorry. I know none of the words. It's got the foam stuff in it and it stands right up. I love this because I have cats who are obsessed with my yarn too. Um, and so I can sit it next to me on my bed or whatever and I can be knitting out of it, but then I can zip it up. Love that. Then I have two Kimberly pouches because I love them. I love this pattern. I have this in a cape bag, I think love this and then i i have this also in a lorelei bag um this this a print but it's this it's the halloween sloths aren't they cute i love these these are perfect size for socks and i love being able to see everything in there then i got my third <laughs> michael box tray because i saw and i have been wondering about this so i have the original like, um, I don't know, the original, what do they call it, beta, like beta version? <laughs> the original version, because she gave it to me to try out. It was like a uh, blue denim, which is really pretty. Um, and then I got the second one I ordered, which was her one that she was actually selling, was the cream color. It's really, I love that one, so it's pretty. Because I was, almost bought this one. I'm like, no, the cream color. And then I saw this at her pop-up. I'm like, oh, it's so sparkly. Do you guys see this? 
it is so sparkly. And if you haven't seen it on Michael Box, it's like, this is all it is, right? And then you unzip it and it comes out into a tray. And she's got these pockets and these little elastic things that you can stick whatever you want. Everything holds in here. I have scissors of mine and like little needles, like darning needles, and it totally sticks. So this side has this one, this side just has pockets. And you put it on one of the sides. Is it this one? You put it on, you put all your stuff, like your yarn or your project over here, zip it up. So, or you can just carry a leader an ocean pouch or tray or whatever for when you go places. But people all like put it on tables and we have it sitting out. You just zip it right up. They're so cool. Oh, that's down. Love it. I love a sparkle. Okay, so that's it for bags. And then, oh, I went to my friend. Um, we all went to our friend Linda's. Um, she's like a little Christmassy kind of get together. I don't know what she, what we call it, but a ton of friends come, new friends, people I haven't met before, people I had met before. And we do, one of the things we do is um, we do a white elephant exchange. And this is what I got. Oh my gosh, you guys, look. So I had an older um, knitting, I call it, it's a reading light, but I call it a knitting light. <laughs> this one is so nice. It's so soft, so bendy, so comfortable. And it changes, actually changes color. Like it does change like the, the lightness of how much light is showing, but also like my other one does, like it's like a dim and a medium and a bright for each one. But this one actually will change the light color. Like it'll have a warm light or a cool light. Like this is cool. This is really nice. And it's very leathery feeling. And I have the box still. And the person who gifted it to me um, got it on Amazon, she said. But yeah, three color temperatures. And the color I have is the camel brown. It's so cool. I love, I love this. So pretty. It's really pretty. And it's like just super soft. My, one, my other one is like just really stiff and it's just like this dark gray and it's really stiff or whatever. But it worked, you know, whatever. This is nice. It's really nice. I'm like, excited about it. And then a couple of things I got for Christmas. My mom, so I actually got this idea from the Scrappy, or not Scrappy Angel, um, Crazy Sock Lady. She does um, tissue box covers, tissue box covers. Um, she's a really great Halloween one that I have my eye on on Amazon. I totally do that. But this one perfectly matches my tree skirt. So I'm like, I need this. And I have it on my um, wish list for Christmas. My mom got it for me. I just need to make that. And then my husband and kids. Oh, I have another thing I didn't tell you about. My husband and kids went to Needles, my local yarn store, and got me, I just went shopping, which was so cute. I That was just so sweet. I can't even. So they picked out some yarn. So my son picked out this yarn, which is Anzula, which I love. I love Anzula. And this is actually a new um, kind that they have at the store because I saw them post about it. It is the Carbite Fingering Sock. It's 801010, so it has cashmere, and it's the Carbite Freesia. And it's so soft. I love, I love, um, and so it's very soft yarn. So I got the black. And then my daughter helped pick out, which they all kind of did. But my um, yarn store also has just got, well, since I've been there, Lady Men Fiber Arts. And I got two Lady Men Fiber Arts. I've never had their yarn before. It's so nice. This is the BFL. Yes, 80% BFL, 20% nylon. This colorway is the upside down, which I love Stranger Things. And look at that purple. And this color is Dancing Queen. Look at the speckles, you guys. I just love it. So pretty. So that was so sweet. I just, oh, I love getting yarn. And then I forgot to tell you what else I bought um, from after. So after Wool and Folk crazy whatever those poor vendors needed um some assistance so i pre-ordered a couple things from like one was new to me other ones i have like i have marked as like will buy from soon just you know like nothing like they were all basically everybody went there and like bought a bunch of stuff <laughs> so they were kind of sold out of a lot of things i'm like i'll just buy i have them marked as like will buy soon when they like update their inventory 
but I, oh, from Circle of Stitches, I, which I think is a yarn store. She also dyes yarn and her yarn company is Toil and Trouble. And she had a season of the witch colorway that she was pre-ordering and it was so pretty. Look at that. Very, I love the moody season of the witch. I love it. So pretty. But she's Circle of Stitches on Instagram. That's her yarn store. And then she's dies for toil and trouble. But yeah, so I, I, that one just came in like last week. And I ordered that end of October, but it was a pre-order. I also pre-ordered from Botanical Yarn in end of October, um, but hasn't come yet, which it's not like I was me casting on anyways. <laughs> so I was like, I know she was, she got a lot of support and a lot of people ordering it. And I was like, I am not going to harass her about when my thing is coming because I like, she had posted that she had like 72 orders. So before Christmas, I'm like, um, go have Christmas. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not casting on that yarn anytime soon anyways, but I did get yarn for a pattern. I got a mystery mini set bundle from Botanical Yarns. I love all of her yarns. So I knew I'd like any of those minis. And then also I got a, like a vet, like that vest from Andrea Mowry vest. I forget what it is, but it's an Andrea Mowry vest and I got the yarn for that pattern. So I'm really excited about that, but I wasn't casting on anytime soon. It'll probably just go right in here. Um, but that's what it's for. So that will be coming soon too. Um, I'm assuming after like in January sometime. But yeah, that's it. See, I almost forgot stuff. <laughs> So yeah, I hope everyone had a great holiday season. Um, if you celebrate any holidays in December or at least had a great beginning of winter. Um, and I will come back in January with my like whips roundup episode. And also to tell you more about our knit along with a scrappy angel. I'll also put more of that on Instagram. I may just even post on here. Once I find out more information, I'll post on YouTube so you guys can see. So you don't have to wait for me to watch, do another video because who knows when that's gonna be, honestly guys. Um, but yeah, but thanks for tuning in. I know it's been a while. Sorry, guys. Life, we all know. And um, until next time, bye.